how did animals first evolve the splendid machinery for motion? What creatures gave rise to life's glorious dance? This flower-like creature is an anemone, one of an ancient group of animals called cnidarians. How could such simple creatures have given rise to life's diverse ballet? Early naturalists wondered, were they plants, animals, or something in between? Hundreds of millions of years ago, before animals swam the ocean's waters or scurried along the seafloor, only one group of animals existed. They were sponges. Then creatures far more complex sprang into being and changed the world forever. These were the first cnidarians. They may not look like pioneers, but cnidarians marked a turning point for animal behavior. These creatures were the first to wield sensitive tentacles that could actually reach out and perceive the world. More than 500 million years ago, cnidarians invented other features we take for granted today. Here was an animal with a mouth. And connected to that mouth, a stomach to digest food. It was a brilliant innovation that would spread throughout the animal kingdom. But cnidarians brought even greater inventions. These deceptively simple creatures invented movement. The very first animal movements may have looked much like these subtle stirrings. With two sets of muscles, Cnidarians can bend in any direction. To control their muscles, they rely on another Cnidarian invention, special cells, cells called nerves. Through a set of these nerves, electrical impulses trigger one set of muscles to contract, pushing the animal higher. By contracting the other set of muscles, the animal can flex itself into the perfect pose for snagging food. It looks so simple, but all creatures that crawl, soar, or swim today rely on muscle and nerve, their ancient inheritance from cnidarians. Appearances can be deceiving. Creatures that look slow and simple actually started the nimble dance of life. Cnidarians were the first active predators on the planet. Like its ancestors, this anemone may seem docile, but it has tricks for snaring fast-moving flesh. Lining its tentacles are millions of special capsules called nematocysts. Inside the capsules lie thread-like projectiles loaded with deadly poisons. When unleashed, these weapons fire with the acceleration of a rifle bullet. They pierce their target and pump it full of paralyzing toxins. The tentacles must be touched before the weapons can discharge. And for that, the prey must come to the anemone. The goby is a swift swimmer. With eyes and senses attuned to any sign of danger, and a brain able to process complex signals. 
it seems better equipped for survival. For the Gobi, one unguarded moment could be fatal. Dragging the fish into its mouth, the anemone devours it with tools invented by its ancient ancestors. The gobi will be slowly digested alive. For more than half a billion years, Cnidarians have been honing and adapting their nematocysts. And they've developed a stunning array of weapons. Some are even laced with toxins that can be fatal to humans. But these barbed projectiles are used for more than capturing food. They are also weapons deployed against their own kind. These anemones appear to be peacefully coexisting in a tide pool, but trouble is brewing a struggle over a patch of rock. Splaying their tentacles, the animals detect each other. Now, there's no turning back. Each animal prepares for battle, inflating a series of sacks, special tools for combat. Inside each sack are hundreds of thousands of weapons. But in order to deploy its weapons, each combatant must reach out and strike its enemy. Anemone battles can last for hours, even days. The fighting is brutal and can even lead to death. With each strike, thousands of poisonous weapons are unleashed penetrating flesh, pumping soft bodies full of toxins. As the arsenal is used up, the weapon sacks are left empty and tattered. Triumphant, one anemone spreads its tentacles as though flaunting its victory. The vanquished retreats within itself and will eventually move away. These tiny coral polyps are also cnidarians, and like their cousins, they are predators, dining on plankton. Instead of warring, they build. Working together, they create one of the greatest wonders of the natural world, a spectacle of colors and formations like no other, coral reefs. Anchored to a rock on the ocean floor, a solitary cnidarian called Stompfia. It looks vulnerable, but looks can be deceiving. Stompfia would seem to make an easy meal for any determined predator. Today, it's being stalked by a stealthy foe, the sea star Dermasterius. Sampling the water with its sensory tentacles, the sea star inches toward its prey. Stomphia remains unaware of the approaching danger. But when Dermasterius comes close enough to touch it, Stomphia springs into action. In a stunning defensive maneuver, Stomphia frees itself from the rock and swims away.
This is one of just a few anemones that can actually swim. Over millions of years, some cnidarians evolved in a dramatically new direction. The edges of their mouth extended, and they developed arm-like feeding structures. Their tentacles became thin strands. Their cylindrical stalk transformed to a gelatinous bell and a familiar ghost-like animal took shape. With the evolution of jellyfish, cnidarians may well have been the first animals to swim the world's oceans. With a body plan that would endure the ages, they entered watery realms across the planet. Today, these ocean drifters are prolific, and they come in a stunning variety of shapes and sizes. Trailing their deadly tentacles, jellyfish slowly trawl for prey. Scientists know that jellyfish thrive in the upper ocean. Apparently, the remarkable creatures that dominate the upper waters are also abundant in the deeper reaches. This astounding creature, known as Preya, is a combination of the two basic cnidarian shapes, the pulsing, bell-shaped medusa and the stalk-like polyp with trailing tentacles. Spanning up to 120 feet, Preya is the longest predator in the world longer even than a blue whale. Deeper, a colobonema, a jellyfish with a surprising defense. When startled, it detaches its tentacles, leaving them behind as decoys to distract would-be attackers. This jellyfish has never been seen before, never classified, never given a name. Its size, three feet in diameter, makes it larger than most other jellyfish in the world. To some, these cnidarians appear fantastic, surprising, even otherworldly. But in this realm, they are the dominant animals. Millions of years ago, unlikely pioneers sparked a revolution. Cnidarians set animal life in motion. So much of what we take for granted today began with cnidarians. Simple creatures that forever set into motion the magnificent shape of life. <laughs>